United States is very first to accumulate the other side of the new robot. Thor RD for the Dark Art Robotics Challenge. Sapphire, Shipboard Autonomous Firefighting Robots is a robot for the US Navy for firefighting. And Thor, Tactical Hazardous Operations Robot that uses novel series lasting activators and many, many more. I think we've built more than a dozen different uh, sizes than human robots. However, during the past decade, we put a lot of time and effort into human robots and it constantly falls down, it's really slow, and it has some doubts until now. And today I'm very excited to show you our latest robot, Artemis. So again, you probably remember the open source robot Darwin OP at two, uh, 2010. Following year, we built the Charlie Cognitive Human Autonomous Robot with Learning Intelligence. 2013, Thor OP and 2014, Thor. And now the next generation of robots is open. Now, this robot is uh, developed using crowdfunding. Now, because this robot uses new technology that did not exist until now, you couldn't buy any of these uh, parts. So every single component, except for the sensors, computer, and wires, we designed and fabricated every single thing in the lab. We cut our own gears, even the motors, we hand wind the clothes that we had to glue all the magnets and build everything. Now, as an engineer, when I see this, I consider this as sexy. <laughs> So this is the thigh length. If you have time, I'll talk about the topology optimization design work that we also done. Now this is the Is it beautiful? Yes. So finally, the lower body of Artemis assembly is done. And this is the lower body of Artemis. We're doing a range of motion test. It can move exactly or more than human motion, except for the angle, which I'll talk about too. Now, this road is not just for walking, you can run and eventually jump and do parkour. So you can see in the background, this is what we want to do with these robots. Hyperdynamic locomotion. And we unveiled this video just last year. And this is the Artemis' lower body. So at the end it says, Artemis, coming soon. And that soon is today. And I'm very excited to show you Artemis our latest human robot. So Artemis stands for a robot, uh, there you go, Advanced Robotic Technology for Enhanced Mobility and Improved Stability. Now we actually do testing outdoors without any tethers. It's that stable. Let me show you some of the, uh, the performances. So if you see over here, we're really trying to kick it. We're not baby, we're really trying to kick it and it cannot fall down. Pushing it from the forward, sideways as you probably know is much more difficult. If you push or pull from the sideways, the two legs can hit each other, but still it performs very well. Kicking from the back is very, very stable. Pulling, pushing, and as you guys can see, we're really trying to kick it. Want to toughen up a little bit, so we're throwing objects at it. Not only the body, but it can hit any type of any joints and legs, and it's still fine. Now, it's walking over a five centimeter tall obstacle. Now, it's not using perception. Just by the four senses on the foot, it can handle these kind of obstacles. Let's make it even more difficult. So now we have a debris, debris pile. Now, that is a five centimeter foam sponge, and that is very difficult. Different piles of wood, uh, different type of materials. And this robot can actually run. So running means that there's a phase of both feet off the ground. We believe this is the very first running human robot in academic setting. So this is uh, uh, this is in our engineering building. It's actually walking 260 meters around the lab. So now it's finally coming back to the lab. Now at this point, everything is fully autonomous. Now notice that it's bumping into the wall and absolutely no problem. Now, you might be curious of what the robot is actually seeing. So actually, let me show you what the robot is seeing. So the robot is uh, understanding the environment using its sensors, in this case, using a uh, depth camera, oh, a stereo camera. This robot can walk up to 2.1 meters per second. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the fastest walking human robot in the world at this point. 
and also it can run. But however, we do not know how fast it can run because we don't have enough uh, space in the lab right now. Okay, let's make it do some useful things. Uh, you know, moving boxes. Well, disclaimer, this is a complete 